Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you something very interesting workflow. Last time I shared here this one. So this is called frame pack. You can see here, this is my input image. This is the input image and this is what I'm getting. It's a really cool guys because you are giving one input image and also you are not writing any great fancy prompts. I'm being old woman, even this is also spell mistake. So that's totally fine. So you could write old man is smiling and walking. And you get this one, you see here. And I generated for now, time being I just kept it 5 seconds. See how beautiful it's coming, even cloth, movement, smile. And also, if you have a time and experiment, you can go to this one till 120 seconds. Totally, totally amazing. But it's gonna take a lot of time, that is for sure. So I'm going to explain how I install this one how i run this file and where to keep all these models etc so let's see first so let me show you let's close everything now come back so once you come back here this is the comfy frame pack wrapper so developed by kj so you can go here and copy this one so this is all the files and make sure so i'm showing here so open all these files so it's a very clear, no confusion. I'm going to show you everything. So I open all the files and here very clearly they mention how this gonna go, where it will go in the folder structure, everything. Let me run, meanwhile, these are the files, okay? What you can plan here, whenever you run the comfy or everything, I would suggest first download all these models because this gonna consume a lot of time because if once you go let's say come here so this is reasonably 800 mb okay once you come here um, diffusion pytorch blah, blah. so this is this is not required now okay if you want to download this this is going to be yeah this you need frame pack 12v hyfp8 version right this is optimized version or you can you need to run somewhere around you need to download 16 gb here so this is yeah same this is bf16 this is a conversion model this needed again 25 gb so that's the reason i said just start downloading this one first now what you need to do here so go here and copy now i'm running in the full version what is mean full version is comfy i'm not using the portable but it doesn't matter everything is same so let's see, I'm running compi bad. You can, once I run, this is what I'm running here. It's open. So this is what it is. Your compi main file, this is the file. Then uh, you can go to custom nodes and uh, pull here and you can git pull. So otherwise, I will close this one. So this is my custom node. What I'm going to do here. So for for now, my setup, what I do. So generally, you need to cleaner install. It shouldn't mess around with other elements. So that's why I'm using a virtual environment. So now I'll do here. Now I'm going to do so custom nodes. I'll do custom nodes. So now if you check this, I already installed this one, the KJ nodes it's been installed already but it was not there in this i think there should be some in conflict somewhere. anyway so you can put like a git clone and uh, paste that link whatever come here and comfy wrapper okay come here and copy the link and put here so my case, it will show me since it's already installed, it will show like this is already there. So that shouldn't be issue. So once you're done, this is a regular installation. So if you want to know very detailed explanation, let me know. I'll make a clear video how to install custom nodes and in depth how to maintain two separate Python's global and virtual environment. What is the advantages? So let's go and get, once you're done, requirements so basically once you install here 
I think someone commented also. They want to know detail, but I'll do it another one. So basically, once you go here, once you read this document, these all dependencies you need. So you need to install all diffusers, Cypher Torch, all safe tensors, everything. And also, if you have good GPU, go here PyTorch. Once you go PyTorch, uh, recently they have updated 2.7. Scroll down. So this is the structure. So I am just showing you again. This is the PyTorch build, stable version. So depend on whichever version you want. So whether you are using Linux, Mac, Windows, wherever you are. So and package. So package also package manager also depend on you. Mostly I'll use pips. Some people prefer Conda and Conda or depends on their thing, right? Mamba. There are many packages. It's up to you. Whichever you want, you can use. So right now we are doing in purely on the Python. And on the compute platform, because CUDA, if you are using NVIDIA GPU, anything is fine, but don't go for 12.8. Some dependencies might not develop for the 12.8. For instance, if you are using SDXL or lower end models, sometimes somewhere, small, small nodes, right? They might not sure about this one, but maybe after some time you can use, you can move towards this. This is also fine, but this is middle. It can be balanced out both. So let's assume you don't have anything, then go for CPU. So based based on this, what will happen? Based on this, you will get on a command and copy this and come here and install whichever you want. Let's say if you want to see NVCC space space version. So once you put it this command, you can see what is what is there right now. I'm using NVIDIA or CUDA compiler copy 20 to, 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 to build in true so this is the time i did and uh, CUDA compilation i was in 12.4 my CUDA compiler is 12.4 okay that's simple about this so let's see now uh, anyway i install all this right so let's try it out if you guys any doubt or anything let me know i'll explain so now we have installed everything now let's run the bat then i will show you inside so we already back let's me show you on the computer so for you guys now what i'm going to do this already i installed uh, okay this one i already installed right so now I'm go so once you install everything you will get this if you are missing some any custom nodes and all go so you will get by default if you are installing right you will get some red colors missing uh, missing custom nodes what you guys can go do here go to custom manager install missing custom nodes that's the regular process okay so as I said again if you are if you really want explicitly you want to see that process let me know this is gonna take some it is it is not something like a regular content because that's going to be very exclusively separate video so let's see now you have clear description once you download it so as i said you already download all these files mm -hmm. right so now come here and put it so see load vae so bf16 or any other models you can see clearly vae so where it does goes once you go here this is your comfy um where is my comfy this is my comfy and you have to go to comfy inside again here this is your comfy and models so this is where majority time we are keeping all our models and dependencies other libraries external things whenever you use any checkpoint safe tensors you are going to distribute between them so now vae this is the my vae folder so you can see here i kept here so this is where this file goes now go one by one so once you go here then dual clip loader so where does this comes clip loader comes here clip loader mall uh, this is the clip so okay clip is different from clip vision and clip clip is more on these all files comes into the clip now let's come back here again so make sure read everything there is a scaled version also inside it's up to you however you want to run so basically this will understand and process your text right 
So basically a text encoder. You can also, people call like a text encoders also. Now you have a clip vision. What it does, it will understand the what is you are giving input image. So this is another model. It will go to clip vision models. So it is there in clip vision. You can keep it here. So that's about this. Then mm, that's mostly this. And yes, this is the frame pack. So this is our main custom node. Okay. So whichever you download, right? So once you come here, uh, HYFP at here also you have two, right? BF 16. So it's up to you. However you want to run. It's a purely experimental. Now, where do you keep this one? So you will get a doubt now. So sometimes you just hold a Okay. Okay, don't worry. This is goes to your regular diffusion models. So you come here, clip vision, now diffusion models. You can keep it here. So flux, any other latest models, everything calling as a diffusion models or either diffusion models or units. Here is the units, right? So this goes to diffusion model. So remember again, whichever this model, this goes to into diffusion. Now you are connecting everything and there are few things. In my case, generally I will connect this entire flow other case. I will show you that part where you can use like a, your own expressions, how you uh, turn around and changes. That's experimental. And uh, this is where, so once you give a process, frame pack is nothing but this all generate individual images. Once you give a prompt and it will go understand and it will generate it's nothing but video is nothing but combination of frames correct so these are the frames and these frames if you really want to see you can connect another node and keep it a preview make sure you keep it as a preview otherwise it will be going to fill your hard disk crazily so this is where you can see how that video looks so now what i'm going to do here so this is a good and let's come here this is the steps so 25 to 30 anything is fine use tcache tcache is more on optimization gpu optimization and run level optimization so it should be make sure it should be on and leave it as it is all this and see it doesn't matter anything it's fine and total seconds so you can go till 30 seconds 120 seconds that means literally you can do two minutes video at one shot but definitely it's gonna take hours together even so now i'm going to keep four seconds since i'm going to run something new and gpu so gpu memory preservation so if you are using a gpu whether it can be outside internal for instance if you are running in amazon server some other if you are integrated deploy this entire workflow into somewhere else so you don't mind to use something you are using some some system some gpu you run morning you don't mind let it be run slowly i have a time all the way i'll do other works so then you keep it less preservation that is shouldn't be a problem basically what it does you are allocating less for other things majority stuff you are using for this work like right now i have a 24 gb vram hey i just remove this much rest of part you can use so basically you are preserving 6 gb rest of part if you can you can reduce less uh, then interpretation linear it's a different linear or uh, weight it's a purely up to you i am going to keep a weight average or linear anything fine so then i'm dead started point and denied strength 1.0 so everything good cool so now what i'm going to do here is i am going to load a image so let's take some of the image i'll do okay let me take a uh, this guy or okay let's take this guy so now i am taking this guy and i'm dragging here make sure you can arrange later however i want because i used to be totally fine like moving all these nodes if you are a uh, new you will get confused so i'm going to write a old man is smiling and walking this is going to be my prompt nothing more fancy or anything so now i'm going to run the stuff once you started running 
you can see where it is starting it's starting from VAE first it's loading VAE model and also if you want to see the logs go here and tap it you can see clearly the log what is actually happening back end just letting you know I will maybe I'll while editing I'm going to chop here in the video so I'll show here what is going to happen it will run all these files so now I'm moving here now it will go and we can see here full the so meanwhile I will also show you whatever I done previous uh, okay where it will come once you downloaded you can come here input outputs so this is couple of them this is one of the other video sometime it comes like this glitches slowly but it looks very good I think this is total I think four seconds you see here overall movement I know you might ask like why this is not at all moving but it's again come on guys this is the a video you should not expect near perfect or for this one this I pause the video sometime now I come back again so this takes a lot of time so if as your video is complex again how many characters there in your video and what kind of prompts you are giving what is your GPU how you are running what how you optimize for the bat file for example if you are running high GPU low GPU normal CPU all this depends on this time so if you have good GPU you your workflow is very clean your prompt is clear now it's loading right so it will go here pretty decent and pretty clean as well that is what I like it and uh, it's up to you what kind of um, what is the use cases where you're going to use it's up to you if you are you can also try let's say go to Photoshop or anything if you want to try some kind of effects using in your game you draw something a static VFX or something let's say go here even you don't need to draw what I'm saying let's say VFX glow so you just download any of this kind of stuff and give a input and you want I want to be blast so if I was you take this one I want to be twiddle around sparkle particle effect something you say right it will start come and generate exactly but make sure it then how you are going to use that that's that's again you go to after it's wherever you want you can generate so now you are everything is combining yes look this I think looks this looks very weird that's depend on initial frames but if you want to so here is the catch so at a glance if you look it looks this entire dragging the leg looks weird but notice the guys look at this cloth so now you need to decide let's say you don't want all these files this is what happening right this is what I am looking the frames if you don't want all these frames you up to you let's say you want to walk this side your walk cycle coming starting from here to here you pick these files you understand what is the number of file you go here uh, it is somewhere around 71 frame so you pick from there 71 close this it's up to you however how many frames so you can do here also you can go on any other external compositing softwares wherever you want you can go and uh, do it but that's about this one this looking very clean and clear so you can play around this and uh, download it as I said anything I'm going to leave all these details in the description if you have any doubts on this particular friend if you are getting any errors let me know I will give you solutions as soon as possible whenever I am available here so see you guys if you have uh, if you like my video and my explanation please share and subscribe uh, see you next week bye